Hi there, it's Sally from Rickety Snippets here and today I have a Christmas advent folio to show you. So I thought it'd be really fun to have a folio with pockets and tucks and some windows to open, each one numbered, um, so you could open them on those first 24 days of December, uh, like an advent calendar. Um, so I'll show you the folio, so it folds up like this. And on the front cover here, we've got our first pocket, number one. Um, and inside pocket with this elf, magic elf on it, and inside is um, an image of a Christmas tree. And on this Christmas tree, we're going to place all the things that we're placing in the other pocket. So we're putting little um, bits of ephemera uh, to fussy cut and then to decorate this tree. Um, so lots of baubles and crackers and uh, stars fairy for the top and there's Father Christmas and the moon <laughs> um, and then some nutcracker dolls and presents so there's a lot more to this it actually looked a lot nicer before my cats got involved with it <laughs> so, um, but lots to play with there let's put that to the side, one side so that's in that front pocket and then inside um, I have randomly numbered mine but you could do yours in sequence if you wanted to We've got uh, little pockets with um, numbered, numbered pockets. So all a bit hidden, some of them. Some of them are on the outside, some of them are inside. So they're a bit of a nice challenge for people. Um, and under here, there's uh, these each have pockets with bits inside. Uh, so there's three of those hanging baubles. Um, and then there are two pockets on the front here with bits of ephemera and bits to cut out to put onto the tree. And uh, and then there are also things on the back of the postcards inside the pockets. So a little envelope here, um, two pretty little pockets here, uh, fairies and a uh, gnome fairy on that one. Um, yeah. And then this one, on the back has an image with some uh, windows to open. I haven't bent them back too much so that they don't, they're kind of disguised a little bit. Three windows on there to open. Um, and then on this one, so this is a double pocket. So there's a pocket on the front here that has more, number 24 on there, last day, and a pocket in the side here, um, which has three envelopes stacked onto it. And then on the back, uh, we have three kind of reasonably hidden pockets. So uh, they have tabs on them that you pull out. And there's a little um, pocket there. Look at him, <laughs> the old gingerbread man inside there. So there are three of those down here, each with a different thing stashed in the pocket. Okay, so. Um, the first thing to say is that all the printables for this kit are available in the Rickety Snippets shop. Um, just a note about when you're printing out, um, these are all the bits of ephemera, the fussy cuts that are going to go inside the pockets. So there's enough for you to decorate your folio as well, really, um, and then lots of bits to decorate the tree, so you can decide what you want to use where. Um, and it's really up to you whether you want to fussy cut these yourself and put them in the pockets or whether you think it'd be a nice thing uh, for the person uh, to do that you're giving the folio to um, or you might be keeping it for yourself. But what I've done is I've just, I've put this background on it so that you can just cut them into squares if you want to or uh, rectangles um, so that you can just put them in the pocket like that if you don't want to fussy cut them all yourself. Um, so that's that one and then these are all the numbers that are going to go on all the pockets and I've done two sets so a larger one and a smaller one so you can uh, decide which ones you'd like where because uh, some of them would, those larger ones would probably be a bit big for some of these smaller pockets um, so you don't need to cut all of those out and then what I've done is I've uh, I've kind of closely cut some of them and others I have left on squares so um, 
that's an option where you don't have to cut them all out they are quite fiddly okay I'll just put that to one side okay so the first thing we need is all the elements of the froyo um, so to begin with we just want these two sheets of the snowflake and the um, music paper and this sheet and this sheet and we're going to start by making some holes in this piece of paper so the snowflake paper grab my fitting mat and then I'm using an awl you'll need something sharp um, go through the paper and on this side they are quite faint but there's three uh, circles for um, showing you where to make your holes so you just want to punch it through those and then I'm actually going to make them bigger uh, by poking it all the way through on that side and then I'm also going to take this sheet and I'm going to stick the pocket onto the front so this is our front cover which has this pocket on it um, and I'm just going to do that now because it's going to be quite awkward by the time we've finished putting rags through those holes that we've just made um, so this is going to sit right along the spine here so it's two lines down the centre to show you where your spine is. Um, and you just want some glue along this edge and along the top and the bottom. So it's quite a big pocket, so I'm just putting extra glue along there. And I'm not going to quite go to the edge there. Um, I can do it from that kind of first ruffle, first frill. Uh, so just literally it's about, I don't know, less than a centimetre probably that I'm leaving just so that it doesn't go too low down and make that um, Christmas tree image too difficult to take out of it. Don't worry if you do do it, it will still come out, it might just be more fiddly. So I'm sticking that up to that, that line, it doesn't have to sit right on the line but what we want is a little bit more space on this side so you can get your... And the Christmas tree image in and out. There we are. Right, I need that one to try. So on this one, we're going to put our three uh, baubles. So when you're cutting them out, they are side by side. You've got the um, holly one and the um, kind of flamboyant, um, colourful bauble. And so they're paired. Um, it doesn't matter too much, you can probably work out where they go if you need to get them muddled, but um, a couple of them have got a little dip at the end to, um, and one has just got kind of flat around the bottom. Um, so you can work it out by turning it over and just comparing the two. And what you want is that for that back one, the holly one, um, to just be hidden behind that first one. So just lining them up so they sit nicely together and then you've just got a slight kind of border you can just slightly see that um, the front one uh, behind sitting behind that the one with that over and then I'm just going to punch through that hole at the top out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to put a these rivets but I'm not sure if they are technically a rivet. Um, I'm always have trouble lining them up. Let's get it on the other side. There we go. And then we want to just make sure that it's going to swing, which actually it isn't, it's a bit tight there. So I'm just going to use the awl uh, without damaging my fingers or anything to try and uh, just gently ease that up on the back there we 
go. Now I'm using. Um, if you don't mind a little bit more bulk, you can do them individually to stop you having to um, kind of prise the back off. So I'll do that for the next one, I think. So lining them up again, just making sure I can see that bottom one underneath. And hole through the centre of both of them. And then try one with it on both bits. should both line up again. Um, so let's try those two. So this is the one I believe it went through both. So I'm going to get a brad and put it through the rivet and then through the bottom hole on your paper and then just flip that over and open it up. And then I'm just going to let on the table and flatten it on this side. Um, it's nice and smooth. So yeah, that one's still resisting swiveling a little bit. Right, so this one's the one that's got two on, so it does make it a bit thicker. Um, if you don't want to use um, rivets and brads, you can just get these two and stick them on. So uh, just glue them down. Um, so they'll just act as a kind of waterfall um, instead of being able to swing like that. I do quite like that they swing. And I think this these are kind of like extra kind of baubles. So um, I don't know, just quite fun. A note also about the brads. So these ones are quite shallow. Um, but I recently sent off for someone, they were really uh, domed and they're, they're quite nice, but they um, take up a lot of room when you go to shut the folio, they're quite pronounced. Um, so if you've got shallow ones, they're the ones to use. So we'll just do this one. I'm going to try for a all in one again. This worked better, of course, when I did it, when no one was looking. <laughs> It does work, just watch your fingers when you're doing that. <laughs> Set there. Just flat on that. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to grab some um, scrap paper to put on the back here. So just to keep those flat. Let's go with my note. Probably better to do them individually. So these don't have to look nice, they're just to keep those brads from moving and causing any damage to any of your, your paper. So I'm just putting some glue on the back and sticking that down. to tear the edges because I think you're less likely to see any lines through the paper if you do that. 
so that might show more I think than that torn line um, but in this case actually it doesn't matter at all because we have got on the other this is the other side of it so the pockets over it you won't see any lumpy lumpy bits at all there stopped is it oh I didn't put me on the paper that's right Do the same for the other one. Next thing to do is to stick these two pages together. Um, so you want to go all the way around the edge, and we're only we're actually only going to go to here, so just over halfway across that page. And about the halfway point where that, where you think our spine is, so roughly judged, I'm going to put some extra glue. I think that makes our, makes the folio a bit stronger. And then I'm going to grab that page and put it over the top. Make sure it's all lined up. And flatten it as best we can. All these bits on it. Yep, that's good. Okay, and then we need these two pages. So we're going to glue these back to back. So just turn them over, put some glue on one of them. This one, I'm going to smooth that over with a frame folder just to move the glue about a bit so it makes it nice and smooth. And then we can take the folio, the other bits of the folio, and this edge is going to sit on the first line of our, or just before the first line of our mini spine here. Um, so we want to put some glue on the tab and it just goes, goes up to that first line. So, put a fair bit of glue on here. Don't want this to come unstuck. And then just line it up. That line. If we flip it over, we need to, we're just going to stick that whole thing down. So, uh, lots of glue into that gap. And again, on the sides all over that piece. And we also want uh, to put some on this tab again, so up to the line that first line and then a lot of glue on that tab and some quite a lot on the paper there alongside it 
um, because we want a really good bond on this because these are going to be fold lines so we don't want any of this coming away when we fold paper that's it and then smooth it over again that's it uh, so now we can make our score lines on there and fold it so we're going to score from this side and uh, that again. So score along your two lines here, which is our big spine or wide spine. So I scored, and then I'm just going to bring that page up and really run my finger along the end of a ruler there to make a good crisp line. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other line. A bit easier that one without all the bubbles dangling. <laughs> uh, so we can kind of manipulate that into, into shape. So that is our, our big spine. And then we'll do the same over here as well. So I'll do this one first. So along that first line, bring that up again here. sits inside that page. Okay, right. So what should we do next? Let's do actually I'll keep that. Um, next you want to grab this piece and this piece. Um, so this is going to be a pocket on this page here. Um, I'll just show you on here, this one. So she's got a, a kind of tuck pocket alongside her there. Um, and then she also is a pocket. So we need to score this piece. And just fold that in. And then back on itself like that. And then we're going to take the pocket uh, so along this edge, I'm just stick it on there. So uh, first thing is to put glue on this flap, so right up to the fold. And then we stick that on her flap. want a little bit more glue along the top and the bottom of that flap as well. So one there, and one there. Fold that in. That's that a little bit. And then that is going to go on the back here. So she's going to sit again right up to the spine there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need glue along this edge and the top and the bottom. in there and then in there as well and it'll not leak in there until that's dry but it gives you a nice kind of finish to that edge of that pocket I think. That's that. 
and then in on this middle page here which is actually um our back page we have these pockets to go on there so you might have noticed that these uh have little arrows so these there's three of these and these snowflake pieces Um, so I haven't cut right up to the edge on these yet because we want those markers um, and now I haven't put the cutting mat away I need it again <laughs> so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to score down the edge of this picture just where it meets the other picture And then um, we want to create a cut line and I'm not going to go all the way up but I'm just by eye aiming, place my scissors at that bottom arrow and aiming for the top arrow but not cutting all the way through so just shy of the top. Okay. And then I'm going to fold that flap in and kind of hold that all together and then trim off that edge or trim off both the edges then. So you're also trimming that flap underneath. And what that does is just kind of keeps I'm trim, I'm trim that very well. Let's go back to the other one. Keeps all the lines consistent. Um, so that when we've cut this, we want to give the illusion that it's still all one picture. So then you just go back and snip that last bit again at the top. That's one. So I'll do the same with the others. So cut almost to the top. Trim those arrows, fold in that flap and hold everything together and trim the edges. thing to do with those to so keep them paired um, is to take these pieces um, and then so they've got a line down one side so on the opposite side we're going to stick a little triangular pocket uh, so you just want glue along the top and bottom or top and the side no side and the bottom <laughs> and you just stick that place in that corner Go. So I'm going to do the same for these ones as well. So the next thing to do is to stick uh, 
that cut Im image to the front to, to this piece. So you want to put glue right up to the line in here. And then just stick that on top in the line. And then turn it over and just judge, just have a look to see if it's kind of, it's central. Um, which it is, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then you just put a bit of glue on this flap. And stick that down. Okay, so same for the other two. Bit of glue again up to the line. So I've got three pieces. Um, so I need to pair them back up again. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> there we are. Right. And then we're going to put those. Oh, be careful not to mash our balls on the other side. So we're going to put these. In the back here, um, put one on top of the other. Uh, so not quite up to the spine, just, just a little bit of space there. And then you want glue on the top and the bottom and that side. And you want to stay as near to the edges as you can with these. Um, particularly on the top and the bottom, uh, so we can get that insert in there. Ideally, you'd like that to sit, sit and dry for a little bit. Um, but when they're dry, you should slide in there. Oh, I've done that again, wrong present. And there we are. I've got a, a kind of a hidden pocket. Along this edge, we have a tuck and a pocket. So this is going to be a pocket. So it's just this piece of um, brown paper, which I'm just going to glue around top, bottom and one side. So I'm going to put that on there. Oh, upside down, oh, never mind. And with the tuck, I'm actually going to put a, a line of glue in the middle, as well as the top and the bottom. Uh, 
to give it a little bit of, of extra kind of strength or integrity with that pink the sitting on top of a pocket makes it a little bit kind of baggier um, that uh, dry in the middle here so this central page we have uh, a, a large pocket to sit on there um, so again glue both sides oops put the glue there and then on the bottom that's just going to sit across that whole page This final page we just have a tuck go across there right so just glue either side and stick that just kind of a little bit higher than halfway The pages of the folio done. Uh, that's everything. Oh, I was going to stick these on as well. So these are kind of some pockets on a pocket. So I'm just again going to put glue down the sides on the, on the bottom. Get, so we'll put that aside, let all those all that glue dry, and then come back to it. So the next thing to do, I think, are these large inserts um, that are going to have our pockets and some windows to open um, and envelopes and things. So uh, we've got. So let's start by doing these um, windows. So this is like a traditional advent calendar so for that bit for all those you need <coughs> these two and these two images and you're going to need a scalpel and a cutting board for this um, so i'm going to cut this window out well, not all the window, I'm going to leave a little bit at the side so it just kind of flaps open. And I'm going to go right the way round and along the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to take scalpel and I'm going to start where the window starts to curve. Um, and then just cut all around. You can turn your paper around as you go. If you're worried about using a scalpel, you can always um, make a cut to begin with and then use your scissors to cut the rest of it. Um, but it is better if you can cut it with a scalpel because you'll get a much smoother finish. Um, so again, this window, I'm going to start cutting it. Where's the edge of the... I'm going to put it there. And around that. Taking little bites out of it smoother as you can and then all the way down and then along the bottom there so that's two and then the door wonky door but it is a fairy door so maybe that's <laughs> so 
I'm not going to score that or anything um, because I think it's nicer if it's if it's as flush to the image as it can be so that um, they remain somewhat hidden or left what's behind them remains hidden and then you need this piece um, which again I'm going to use a scalpel to cut um, but this matters a lot less than the front one um, and you can go kind of it if you go into the brown bit a little bit when you're cutting uh, that'll give you a nicer finish rather than you might see the kind of white edges the door You shouldn't be able to see this very much at all, so don't worry too much. Making it perfect. And then this one, so maybe I'll cut this one just to show you. So just a bit of scalpel. And then you can continue cutting with your scissors. Smaller pen, they're probably looking easier, aren't they? Okay, you can see it's a little bit uh, less smooth than when you're cutting with the knife. Um, so, a good place if you are going to use your knife and want to practice, you could practice on that bit and then do the front. Um, So now we are going to assemble it. So these are the images that are going to be behind our door and our windows. Um, and so we're going to stick this piece to that one. Uh, so I'm going to go around the edges, not too close because I don't want to get blue actually in that window. Um, between okay, that way just make sure you're really lining this up so that we can everything that's showing through the windows. And then this one is just going to sit on top of that. So again, you just want to really make sure you've lined it up. So I'm going to put the glue. I'm going to put the glue outside of the those brown bits. So as long as you've got a line of glue that goes all the way around, um, I also put a little bit between those two. Um, that's fine, but we don't want it too near the actual window. Um, and part of that is because you don't want glue in the window, but also I'm going to I'm going to try and put some of these um, the bits of ephemera for the tree inside the window as well. So um, we can tuck those into that gap and that will stop them falling out. Look, snowman, star. If you can see that, I think that one's not. A little quiddy in there. Ooh. Oh. There we go. And on the back, we're going to have our. It's not really Father Christmas, I think he's kind of king of the elves who also brings you presents. So. He's as good as Father Christmas. <laughs> mm. 
And there we go. So that is done. I think we might put some of our bits behind those windows now. Um, only get a little candle in that top one. Two of these maybe? No, not a couple. Maybe a candy cane in the middle one. And maybe this and a gingerbread man in the bottom I think. So I think I'm going to actually, actually pretty much fussy cut one of these candles uh, to put in that top one because it is very small close that loop in and then tuck it in because you've left a bit of space so it'll just tuck in there uh, kind of under the windowsill So just make sure when you're gluing, you do leave a little bit of room to tuck, tuck things in there. So that's that one. So the next one is uh, this little Christmas fairy. Um, and she has a kind of buff, starry background. Um, so we can start by sticking those two together. And we have, so there are lots of envelopes with this kit, so we'll make some of those up. Go in some of our pockets. Um, but what we need for this one are these three. Um, so they all need scoring in two places. So along these two, these darker lines and I'm just going to fold along those lines so I'll put them in so that's your that's your pocket so you just need a line of glue and then bring that one up and you have your first envelope stick these you know, kind of in staggered on here so you could have them in a line all on top of each other I quite fancy having them at a bit of an angle so you could either do them like that or be slightly in a line and then just tilted Yeah. 
something like that. A tie formation like that. So glue on the back. Or you could just glue it on a couple of edges to make these pockets as well. Um, so as you're going through this, you just want to make sure that you end up with 24 places um, to stick all your numbers on and your stick your put your ephemera in. on anything yet. Do that on these. And what could be quite fun is if we use the number as a kind of little closure. I'm just going to put a bit of glue kind of up to halfway maybe on that bauble. go so yeah quite effective once it's actually dry you can tuck that in like that and um, I can't remember if I've already said this but so in my um, advent calendar my advent folio um, all the numbers are random um, but you so you could make decisions the only one you absolutely need uh, number one on is this first one because this is where you're going to put your um, Christmas tree so we could do that So in this front pocket, that is going to be number one. So we're going to fold the Christmas tree up. Don't crease it too much. But... And then we'll tuck it in there. Um, and so I'm going to stick a number one on there because it was our first. Oh no, this won't open. actually <laughs> there we are so that's number one um but then i quite enjoy the ran randomness and that uh whoever whoever's folio this is they have to kind of um hunt about a bit to find the numbers but you could go through the folio and as we've created pockets um you can obviously number them in sequence if that's what you prefer 
Okay, so let me try. I'm going to put some actual bits inside these. Uh, so let's have a look. So I'm going to put some of the bigger bits in here, like Christmas presents. Crackers, another present, put a big star in there. There's lots to go in these pockets. So, uh, obviously, let you decide where everything goes. There we go. Oh, you can also, so there's also lots of. Um, other bits of ephemera that come with this kit, uh, which of course you can use anywhere you like in other projects. Or, um, but if you've got nice, you might want to uh, write a little note on there or a promise or something. Um, and so some of those can go inside here too. Two. I've got these two done, and then we also have um, another fairy insert. So for that, we need these two envelopes, and this one, which is also going to be an envelope, and these two pieces, one of which is a pocket and one is a tuck. Um, so she has a snowflake background, so I'm just going to stick those two together. This is a belly band, which is going to go on there, but I'm not going to stick that on until we've made up these envelopes. I'll just judge where best to put that. Um, so we need a cutting board again, and something to score with. So I'm going to start with this envelope. There's a square or a rectangle shape um, between these flaps. So you need to score four lines there. One, score these either side of the, the image in the middle.
So for the envelope, I'm just going to fold those all in. Bring that the other way. And then, so this one where the, that uh, peak has been cut off, that's the bottom of your envelope. And you just want to put a bit of glue on both sides of that. So not actually on that top bit. So you fold in your side bits and bring that up. So it's going to stick to those two side bits. And then hold that in place for a little bit. Oh, a little glue. Yeah, that's your envelope. And then these two, uh, we're going to fold that way and then back on themselves like that. Um, and so we're going to glue, first of all, this bit to the middle. just put a little bit either side a little bit of glue staying really close to the edge because these are very small pockets and bring that up like that and then it's got this really nice little pocket fold on the front and then uh, a little space in there to tuck some more things in if you're too tall a bit tall so you might trim him down put him in there Um, and then you could stick a number on the pocket. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Right, so there's that. So. little present in there. Oh, that's not stuck. Some candles. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to possibly cut another bauble as well to put a number on it for the front. go so they are both going to go in this pocket and then we're going to put a belly band with this envelope on it just a minute um so it's a bit higher than that i'll just bring that down This one, I'm not going to stick the number on the envelope, I might stick it on the belly band. And perhaps, yeah, I might just have it on its candy stripe for this one. A bit of trim. Okay. 
And if you uh, are finding these a bit plain, some of these, you can use any of these also to um, embellish. Um, you just make sure you have enough to go in your pockets and to you know, make a nice, well-decorated tree at the end of it. Um, but there are plenty of spare ones in there as well, so using where you like. There we go, so that will sit in there. There we are, so what we have is the we need to decide where we're going to put them. I think I would like her in the middle pocket. And our elf Father Christmas in here. And we're going to tuck her into this big pocket. Oh, actually, before we do that, we should count. So this had three windows on it. Uh, she has three pockets. And there are three pockets here as well. So that's nine of our windows. Uh, then we have these two, so that's... Uh, 10 and 11. So let me just stick some numbers on those. And then we can stick up those again. sock to go in there. These ones should be really nicely stuffed with all sorts in there. Where's that pocket? Right now. Eleven pockets, um, and these, which I should have stuck on before we <laughs> put them in, because this is going to be trickier now. Let's all take her out this time being while we're doing it. These have these little um, music paper envelopes to go on um, pockets to go in there. So just going to put a little bit of glue on the edges.
so that's uh, pockets, what was that, 11, 12, 13, 14, so they just hide nicely behind these baubles. magical but they're all hidden <laughs> uh, there we are so 14 um, these so that was 15 16 17 what happened to my inserts there they are um, some bits in those So that's our back pockets done. So that is uh, 15, 16, 17, 17 pockets. Um, so we can put a couple of things in here. So we have also got some more uh, mini pockets to make up. So I'll show those now. Um, so we have some kind of envelopes and some kind of side pockets and some little like, pocket books really. Um, so I'll show you all of those now. So for these ones that have got a flap, you just want to score along that flap. Um, and you also want to score along the lines on either end of the picture, the top and the bottom of the picture. Um, and then fold in the flaps. Look along the picture. Put a little bit of glue along those tabs it's on the side. Then just bring that up and smooth that down. And then you have a little envelope. A nice snow snow globe on the front. Another one here with a gingerbread house. Do the same again along the tabs. And then top and bottom of the image. And then we're going to fold them all in again.
I'll clean that up and smooth it over again. Just like an envelope. So there's one more like this with the taps. So I'll do the same again. Our three little envelopes. Then we have these two little mini uh, tuck pockets. No, uh, mini, yeah, tuck, mini, I don't know. Pocket pockets. <laughs> uh, so just score either side of the photo for this little photo, the, that image. And fold them in. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off the edge. That's better. Uh, so lots of glue just in that centre fold. Take that bit down, and then just a line of glue along here. Just going to make our little tiny little pocket. So it's just a bit of a white showing there for us to trim that off. Just a very tiny little mini tuck in there. So there are two of those, so I'll do the same with this one. Two of those little baubles, which also look a little bit like uh, beetroots. I just <laughs> just realised. Um, and then there are three of these, which are very similar to these ones. Um, so again, score them either side of that central image. again and when that's dry you can fold it again just fold it in half and then you can burnish it with your burn folder uh, which makes a little book um, so open up and then there's a little space in there to tuck something inside. Um, so you don't have to make them into books, you could just leave them you know, like that, but they're quite sweet like that pink. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just make up these last two.
I have all these little pockets to put inside to make up our final uh, few um, days. So I think we had 17, didn't we? We counted in here. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Hold on, I should say 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there's actually an extra one of these. So you can put one of these uh, maybe within one of these pockets, um, put something else in there. Um, but we need to find places for all of these. Um, put into a big man, into a big house, maybe. in there uh, put the bird on a present that's it The other. Let's have a recount. So we've got one on the front, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three on there, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Three in this pocket, so that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have our 24 sounds right okay so we actually have two spares here which we could uh, fill and stick in some of these other pockets so yeah now I need to go back and stick uh, numbers on these final um, pockets and inserts and uh, fill them with goodies um, but I'm going to do that silently because you must be quite sick of my voice by now <laughs> this has been a really long video um, so I'll say goodbye and thanks very much for watching I really hope you enjoy it I hope whoever you make it for loves it and that you have a happy Christmas <laughs> thank you bye for now